Hey Miguel, I'm Wendy Lin, and I'd like to welcome you to a new weekly news segment brought to you by the multimedia and news sections of the Miguel Tribune. We'll cover last week's top stories to get you up to speed on all the news that you need to know. Without further ado, here's this week's Miguel Minute. McGill welcomed its students back to campus on January 24th. However, some members of the McGill community did not view this as a positive gesture. The Social Work Student Association passed a motion at the General Assembly to extend their strike from in-person classes until at least February 25th. This is just the start of the hashtag McGill on Strike movement. The Education Graduate Student Society also passed a motion to extend their strike until February 25th. Other faculties, such as the Faculty of Arts and the Faculty of Law, may also be looking to strike in the coming weeks. The Arts Undergraduate Society, the AUS, hosted a General Assembly last Wednesday, February 2nd. They did not meet the quorum of 500 attendees required in order to pass a motion to strike. However, the AUS says that it plans on taking an official position soon. A referendum will be sent out to arts students in the coming weeks. McGill held a commemoration of the 2017 Quebec City Mosque shooting on January 28th, the first since the government declared it as an official National Day of Remembrance. It was held remotely by the Institute of Islamic Studies, the Muslim Student Association, and McGill's Associate Provost of Equity and Academic Policy. Be sure to read up on these stories by visiting mcgilltribune.com, and don't forget to pick up the newest edition of the McGill Tribune on campus tomorrow, which covers updates on the new Vic project, McGill's plans for Black History Month, more updates on the hashtag McGill on Strike movement, and an investigation into McGill's treatment of security guards, safety ambassadors, and librarians. Thanks for watching, McGill. Stay in the loop, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.